Over 20 minutes of recording? This is madness! Madness? No. This is ASRAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
handy tandy Nintendo Power Magazine before I... I went around in a circle, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just went around a full circle for no good reason. And come on out, please take us back to where we were approximately. Don't worry, I didn't forget your, about your summon, guys. I just realized I had the wrong gins for it. So I took care of that in the battle. Yay, new summon. We'll probably not even get to see a side effect. Oh, well, you know we did. Attack race, attack race, attack race, fire race, wind race. Awesome! And battle over. What? I could have sworn I saw like four digits on standby. And I'm sorry, I cannot help myself. I see elixirs on Jenna, and I have to give them to Shabia. It's just the way it works. <laughs> Um, this seems new. I'm um, glad I backtracked. Yeah, definitely new. Just climb down here, and uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try real hard to think of a random topic because I don't have my list of random topics. Um, the gins. Okay, here's one, and it's kind of relevant to the game too. What do you guys think of the, the Jin redesigns? You know how in Dark Dawn, all the Jins have their own little personal style. This stone is real handy place here. Can recover your Psy energy anytime and won't disappear. Which is actually pretty good, considering how much Psy energy you might use in this place. Might be a keyword, I went for a lot less than I was expecting. back. So, as for me, well, at first I was a little rejective to the the Jin redesigns. I mean, they just, I was so used to all the Jins of the same element looking the same. And crazy, I know, but I've grown to like them. It's kind of cool how they put in a little extra effort to have everyone have a unique how everyone has a unique look is a nice touch, and I condemn the developers for going that extra mile. So, with that random topic, which wasn't quite as random, out of the way, as you saw, we've activated these statue guys, and I get the feeling we can do a lot more. Well, certainly right this, but you quite a while up. So far up, we went into a new screen. Cool. And another purple tornado statue. Let's try this again. How tornado summons lightning is a little beyond my comprehension. Wrong synergy. Move. Move faster. And hurrah! Now we can do a bunch of cool stuff now that we pretty much moved that out of the way. Let's see what happens if we ride this around. We actually get to the treasure chest, which contains a vial. Um, I guess that's okay. Elixir, I thought I told you to stay with Shabia. <laughs> Whatever. I think we'll give this to Shabia now, too, since she actually can't heal. And that is a pretty good healing item. Yeah, she'll have cure after this dungeon is over, but... In case we get into a pinch, it is good for Chibia to have the item since she's the fastest. I don't mind her being faster than Jenna. Felix, on the other hand... Why did I waste that mint on Felix? But now that we've summoned the Wind Gods, I assume... Now that we've summoned the quote unquote wind gods of this place, we can do more stuff, as you might expect. Look at that item, and I better not go all the way back. Silly me. 
there's more I can do, I just gotta figure out where it is. So, moving along... Okay, I think I got more of a game plan. And that's an important thing. This is new area, right? Uh, yep. I think I wanna go in here. And this takes me approximately where I wanna go. Now that we summon the wind gods, this place becomes accessible. With all kinds of new puzzles for us to explore and implement. Like we could get an item over there. If we can time this up. If we, in other words, move this guy right to where it needs to go. A little hard to do considering that we can't even see what's on the other edge. But I got the power of Nintendo. The Nintendo power. So I can at least make a good guess. Um, I think this will take us where we need to go. Hurrah! Monsters tell me I messed up. Oi. Um. Well, actually. Uh, not completely. Because that's how we make progression. I kind of want to get that item first. So... I'll try again, but in, ca in case you guys want to go up ahead from me, you guys now know how to. Especially because I think I'm going to end the part as soon as I get this item. Um, Cut right back. Alright, third time's the charm. I think that thing actually took us back to where it was before. So let's give this a go. This will take us to where we want. Yep. And what do we get for all our trouble? A clarity circuit. Uh, pretty cool looking. Ooh, raises wind power. Um, it gives Jenna a lot more attacks. I'll attempt to give it to her, but Jenna's not really going to be using any wind energy. Except for that trainer's whip. Nah. Do the right thing, Jackie K. Give it us someone who actually will make good use out of it. And that would be good old Shibuya. Um... Felix, this stupid rod is your responsibility anyways, it's your fault that we're stuck with it, and it's just not sitting in Isaac's party. Um... Yep, we're definitely gonna have a lot to do at the shop the next time we're over there. I say I would call it a part, so... Let's do the right thing and call it a part. Next time on Let's Play... Golden Sun, The Lost Ages. We will continue through Arid's Rock. Arid... Standing for... Aridating. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. Puns would actually be good if I didn't point them out. I better stop it. Oh, wait, no, wait. Actually did get back over there. We'll explore the rest of this puzzle next time. See you all later.